Well, a city street must be 25 feet wide with a tolerance of 0.5 feet. We're gonna write an inequality to represent this situation. Well, let me point at one of the keywords and it's tolerance. It basically means that we will accept values within a certain range. Now, as I do, as I do this, well, I'm thinking we're gonna accept values from here to here and everything in between. So automatically within the context of what we've been doing, we know that we're dealing with less than because it's gonna be between two values. So let's just go ahead and kind of begin to build our understanding of this problem and go from there. So city street, 25 feet wide, with a tolerance of 0.5 feet, meaning I can be half a foot more than or less than 25 feet. So just doodling our ideas here. I could have uh, 25 plus 0.5, and that would be 25.5. Clearly that can happen in your head. I could have 25 minus 0.5, and that would be 24.5. And it's gonna be between those two values. So graphically, it looks like this. This would be 25 and a half. This would be 24 and a half. And it would go from here to here. And I will accept those exact values. I will accept 24 and a half. I will accept 25 and a half. So whatever I'm about to do in terms of setting up an actual inequality, here's what I do know. Um, I know it's between two values, so it's going to be less than. Because it's that and it's between two values, it's going to be absolute value. And it's less than or equal to. So let's not just call it less than. It's actually less than or equal to. So we know this much is true. So what I'm going to do from here actually is some stuff that's experimenting to try to figure out what I can do to set this thing up correctly. And maybe I'll get it wrong and maybe I'll get it right. So um, don't feel like you have to write this next part. But this is a good trial and error process for figuring out what numbers go where. So I'm just going to make up some stuff. I'm going to write it with this color right here. And maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. And I'll be able to tell if I'm right if I get these two numbers based on what I have. So, um, let's see. I need an X for obvious reasons. You can call it W for the width of the street or S for street, which looks like a 5. Don't use S for a variable often if you can help it. Personal opinion. Um, it's going to be 25 feet wide. I'm just going to say X plus 25 and then... 0.5. We're going to do that. I'm just going to write down the numbers within in, in the order that I see them, and maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. So here we go. We're going to drop the bars and solve it. So x plus 25 less than 0.5. And then I'm also going to have x plus 25. Drop the bars, flip the symbol, change the sign. And then when we do that, we'll subtract 25. So we subtract 25 from 0 0.5, and it gives us negative 24 and a half. And immediately I run into a problem, and I realize I don't need that negative there. That's not going to work. So something's wrong. And if I was to do this one, um, wait, wait, that'd be negative right there. My bad. So this one's going to be greater than or equal to negative 25.5. So we, again, we have the same problem. We have negatives. Something's drastically wrong here. So numbers are in the wrong place. So the bars are fine, the less than or equal to is fine, but the numbers are in the wrong place or we have the wrong symbol somewhere. So let me erase, let me put my eraser in here, this. Again, by the time I'm done, I better have something that matches with that graph. So let me set my eraser down and we're gonna just start experimenting again. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. We'll put the 25 on this side, we'll put the 0.5 here. So 25, and, and I'm doing this because, again, I want you to see the thought process that goes into it because these aren't always the most obvious things to do. So you may just want to start putting numbers in different places and seeing maybe, maybe this fits, maybe it doesn't. Solve it. So drop the bars and solve, which means we have 24.5. Okay, but actually I'll go ahead and tell you we're wrong because X is less than 24.5, which would send it that way. And the other one, I'll go ahead and tell you, if we did this one, we'd have that greater than or equal to negative 25. And so we have X greater than or equal to um, negative 24 point, no, 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 negative 25.5, sorry. I had a sign error in my head. Either way, I'm wrong. So that's not going to work either. Okay, huh. Something's wrong again. So let's change this sign, and we'll do this one in our head. So if we did this, 
we'd have um, x minus 0.5 less than 25. We'd add the 0.5 and we'd have 25 and a half, cool. And then on the other side, I won't do this one in my head, we'd have this greater than negative 25 and uh, something's wrong. Okay, so let's go back to the original and I think we have one possibility remaining and it is this. We'll put the 25 there and the 0 0.5 here. I'll go ahead and tell you this one too. This is right. This is right. And here's how I know it's right. The sign that will change will be this one. It's going to be positive and negative 0.5. I could add a half, I could subtract a half, and I would be within that range. And for this to be added to it, I would have to have a negative over here. So maybe that went through your head, maybe it didn't, but the trial and error might be a good process for you as well. Let's double check, make sure it works. By the way, this is the answer, but I'm going to check it here with this. X minus 25 less than or equal to 0 0.5. X less than or equal to 25.5. So far, so good. Uh, drop the bars, flip the symbol, change that sign, add 25. That's going to give me 24 and a half. X is greater than or equal to that. And we're going to have an and in there because it's less than, which is and. And also because I knew it was a tolerance, meaning it's going to be accepted within a certain range. And so we have the correct answer. So this is right. And um, drop the eraser, how embarrassing. Um, this is correct. And let me take this opportunity to label a few things. And then we'll do the next word problem. So first of all, in a tolerance problem, this is always less than or equal to, depending on the context, usually equal to is what we're dealing with. This number, in, in the context of this, is going to be the actual tolerance. Because I could add or subtract that. This is going to be the standard, like it's 25 feet wide, give or take something. So this is the standard width, or standard weight, weight or standard whatever, whatever it is. And this is always minus. I've never encountered one that wasn't. There are possibilities where you can, but within the context of what we're doing, this is the way it's gonna be set up. And this will always be an X. So it's gonna be basically absolute value of X minus your standard, less than or equal to your tolerance. So let's do it. <clears throat> the next problem, and I'm not gonna write it out word for word, has to do with the weight of an ink pen. So I'm, I'm gonna write this out. X minus standard, like it's 25 feet wide, or the next problem is 10, 10 grams, less than or equal to tolerance. And this is basically your formula that we're gonna use. And so the next problem says, um, pens, I'm abbreviating it, I remember what the problem said. Pens must weigh or have a mass of, um, it's 10 grams, with a tolerance of two grams, and then it says write an inequality that represents this. Now we could go through the whole trial and error process, but let's not, because we know what we're doing. So um, the weight of a pen is gonna be X or W or P for pen or whatever. So X minus, always minus, the standard is 10, and it's going to be within a certain range, so it's less than, which is and, and two right there. And if you were to solve it, it would actually work. And very quickly, I'm going to show you that. We can do this in our head. If it's 10, give or take two, then it could be anywhere from eight. So it could be greater than eight and less than or equal to 12. And so that makes sense with this. So X minus 10 is less than or equal to two. So X is less than or equal to eight. We can also drop the bars. Flip the symbol, change the sign. Um, that's going to give me. Whoa, whoa, that's 12. That's 12. There we go. That's that one. Sorry. Wow. And there's the other one. So it works. They're in a different order here than they are here, but it works. There you go.